Hello everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and tabletop role-playing aficionado. Welcome to the Top 10 Moments video series from our Tomb of Annihilation campaign. This is the Dino Races from Session 8. The party is still level 2 in Port Nianzaru, and the day of the dinosaur races has finally arrived. Kles had previously acquired a racing hadrosaurus from helping an NPC jockey in the street, while Theron the Moon Druid gained a hadrosaurus beast-shaped form. The result is Manix riding on a wild-shaped Theron, along with Kles and some other NPC racers. Now for the dinosaur race, I borrowed the idea from the Tomb of Annihilation Companion by Sean McGovern, which is available on the DMs Guild. It had a fun method of dividing the race up into different areas of skill checks, challenges, and events, creating a much more dynamic and engaging scenario, and serving as a memorable climax to our mini adventures in Port Nianzaru. Okay. <laughs> Put your money down. Okay, so what's the plan here? Is the plan for, I, I, I would assume the plan is for Theron Dinosaur to win. If we're, if we're like, actually choosing, like, who's going to, who, who we want to get first, second, third. So that we can bet appropriately. But we also don't, hmm. Mm. I also don't want to throw ball bearings at Kalesis Dinosaur. <laughs> Well, you have to, to throw them off the scent. <laughs> yeah, they all have to be affected. Maybe the plan is for... Please don't throw ball bearings off of me. <laughs> ball bearings are part of every single one of my plans. <laughs> it's totally that might make people suspicious. Plan A through know. F are all ball bearings. <laughs> Each one is this one man's ball trying to cheat. Maybe. <laughs> yep. He's not even steering that dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I will pro I will probably I'm betting on myself. I don't care what you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> Racist dinosaur. <laughs> I'm racing the giant spider races. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people died. <laughs> They're terrible. Spiders are impossible to control. Yeah, I'll probably bid on Theron too. So I feel like we, yeah. I'm I'm worried about that Allosaurus though. I don't know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Menix, Menix feels like he really needs to rig this somehow, but he's not sure how quite yet. Well, just from don't the, get caught. From the great Google overlords, the Tyrannosaurus is not the one to bet on. There's good sprinters, but not long haul runners. Yeah. Hey, your character doesn't have Google. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> like to make an animal handling or a nature check to, to, to yeah. Google these dinosaurs. What does Magister Google have to say? <laughs> <laughs> that dude's always around. He knows everything. Um. Yeah. So the odds, which she can also tell you, um, at the moment. Bone Cruncher has one to four odds. He is the favorite. Okay. Uh, Scarback, the gladiator riding the T Rex, has one to two odds. Deadly Treasure, which is the turtle riding the Ankylosaurus, has even odds. And Zongo, who is the name of the Triceratops that your Pharaoh or Gondolo is riding, has four to one odds as the bit of a long shot. All right. And do we know yet? Or you they guys have like, not registered yet, so okay. you don't have odds yet. Do they do they have to inspect the dinosaur as soon as we register? Or is it, does it happen like sometime after? Uh, I mean, they will go do that quickly because it's, this is the morning of the race. Okay. Well, let's get you registered. Theron McBristlebeard or whatever, whatever your favorite. Pinecone. Pinecone. Put a bow on my hair. <laughs> um, yeah. Comb my mane. <laughs> Dinosaurs don't have manes. Oh no! First, first, get me a mane. <laughs> Comb it. Go Actually, borrow a horse's mane for me. <laughs> Just shows oh, up with God. a decapitated Just... horse head. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. This is the mane I was looking for. Um. Yeah, if try to convince her to do it right before, like as close to the race as possible. If not, I do have to 
Oh, shapes. right. Okay. I can... Yeah. If you have to. Yeah. I... Yeah, let's try to figure out... Let's go to talk to the register lady and try to figure out just how uh, late she will accept registrations. I can't go with you. They'll recognize me. <laughs> that's that's the head of stories right there. <laughs> I knew I, I know that beard everyone. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going off the register. I'll find out. Okay. All right. Um, you head over to uh, Golden Throne, which is um, a pretty busy area. Sink my way over there. It's just a. Uh, it looks like it's a grand temple that sticks out even amongst the uh, posh mansions. Of the uh, elevated hill area in the uh, western part of the city, um, there's people lined up in multiple lines outside. There's uh, stalls being set up. Um, various uh, nobles uh, look like high class merchants are sitting around, look like they're making, so, you know, puffing their cigars, drinking their brandy and whatnots. Um, and yeah, there's a there's a section over there for uh, registration. Um, and you can easily walk up, and uh, the woman uh, inquires uh, your name, the dinosaur's name, uh, where your dinosaur is, just kind of basic information, uh, and then uh, uh, asks for the uh, 10 gold for okay. uh, official registration. And then she will mention that she will uh, send a uh, official, uh, and she's got like some attendees near her, she says that uh, one of them will uh, go with you back to the pen to, uh, you know, check on your dinosaur, make sure it's legit, not under any kind of performance-enhancing drugs or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also ask her uh, how, when is the latest that someone can register, since I have a friend who's attempting to um, obtain a mount. Um... She'll say at this point with the race um, starting in a few hours, like they really need to get people registered probably within the next hour or so because they need to get those uh, bets p uh, uh, posted for people to just be included in the actual uh, race event as an official participant. So okay. probably within about the next hour to get all the – they'll probably like close the registration at that point so everybody can get ready. Okay. How long, how long is your wild shape there? Uh, an hour. Oh, okay. I think I think you're probably gonna have to use two, because it's gonna be at least a couple hours between the, the end of registration and the start of the race. Can you, Theron? This is a Manix doesn't know how loud shit works. <laughs> you approach just there. Can you turn into a shittier version of your dinosaur right now? And then turn into a better version right before the race. He, he could just act shittier. Well, yeah, can, that's also third. Max doesn't know how wild shit works. <laughs> no, no. There, there's only one version of the thing I can turn it to. All right. Well, X sick, though. yeah, X sick and like wild and you know, partially lame. <laughs> yeah. The I'm a hadrosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> this hey. hadrosaurus can talk. Amazing. <laughs> One I to ten even, odds. I can't even talk. <laughs> yeah, we established that. He just makes like dinosaur noises. Yep. Uh, I make bear noises from my head. Sorry. All right, class. The right. attendee goes back with you uh, to go to the pen, and you guys check on uh, Princess uh, Banana Suela. Whatever her. <laughs> what is her name? Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Thank you. Um, I really want to win the dinosaur race just so he has to type out the words Princess Consuela Banana Hammock won the dinosaur <laughs> race. Yeah. Um, and everything looks uh, pretty legit. Um, they ask if you've ever done anything like this before. In a previous life. <laughs> person. And the person offers no emotion. Like It's just like jotting things down very clinically. And uh, asks, like, how long you've had the dinosaur? I am one with my dinosaur. Nods. 
I, I'm trying to like bluff <laughs> my way through this to get better, like get a better betting system going. Yeah. It says, uh, looks like this dinosaur has been uh, previously registered. Um, so we know it's actually been in here before and it looks like it's, you know, already in the system. So everything uh, uh, checks out okay. And it said, all right, thank you and good luck on the race. Thank you. And they uh, leave. And you, uh, when, whenever you registered, they they gave you um, the like saddle and supplies you need, so you can uh, get your dinosaur ready. Yeah, we we totally gonna take some practice laps around the pin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a whole like little <laughs> section where uh, the racers are kind of, or I could probably just you and some other like people on hadrosaurus in your section because I did mention the dinosaur pens are nicely segregated between all the different animals. <laughs> all right, the rest of you. Um, Theron, here's a plan. I'm going to just put a rope around your neck and tie you to like a post right outside the registration area. And you just act as pathetic as you possibly can. And I'll act as incompetent as I possibly can. And mm -hmm. we'll see how well we can get these odds. This is already actually wild shape. Wait, tell me how it's going on. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I assume you waiting for Theron to wild shape. <sighs> All right, I wild shape. Into the mighty Hadrosaurus! <laughs> All right. Um, so are, do you walk with him to the registration area, then? I just put a rope around his neck as if, like, I can just lead him like a horse through the streets. Okay. Where are you going? I guess I should ask. To the, to the registration, to the to the registration area. Okay. As if I think that the dinosaur has to come to the right. Like I'm gonna act as just as uh, ignorant of this whole process as I possibly can. I demand you role play all of this. All right. All right. That's um, a bit at least. <laughs> I, 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 I have the rope around the hadrosaur's neck, Theron's neck, and I just like walk into the golden throne area with this with this dinosaur right behind me. And I almost belligerently demand to register my dinosaur. I have a dinosaur to register. <laughs> the woman looks up and says, "Oh, I see. Uh, is that okay? Is that hair growing on it? That doesn't seem <laughs> infected or something." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm told it's a birth defect. It'll make him faster. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. This is a serious race now, you understand. I got serious money. Mm, that's good enough for us. She... <laughs> <laughs> so fork over the ten gold. And uh, okay. she greedily accepts it. And then since you're right there, the uh, inspectors just kind of come by and, and check it out. They're measuring and check in, like, opening the mouth and checking teeth and all this stuff, and how are you acting through all this, Theron, about being manhandled, dinosaur-handled? Dinosaur as handled by man. <laughs> a giant dinosaur erection. <laughs> Theron just has shame. <laughs> I feel shame as a preact. <laughs> Uh, how are you just kind of standing there and taking it, or are you acting in any specific way? Yeah, I, I, I'll uh, cough every once in a while. Okay. Um, the uh, everybody, uh, the inspectors seem to kind of nod and like, oh, this seems like they're uh, seems like he's not in very good shape, but I guess he's okay to run. Uh, how about? He's, yep. He's purebred, purebred hadrosaur. <laughs> we've had the same family blood in the hadrosaur line going back eight generations which means um, he's, he's the purest um, you can get I see uh, and then they start like asking you pointed questions about the bloodline at this point <laughs> yes yes yeah, this is pine cone his Great great grandfather. <laughs> I start drilling. <laughs> His great great grandfather, named 
Fern Gully. And he <laughs> sired <laughs> with every one of his daughters and granddaughters until eventually you get this fine specimen. Wait, that means he's super inbred? Is that what this means? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. But I'm that's talking about like lower the thing. price. Lower the <laughs> He's so impressed. <laughs> he's so he's pure. Oh, man. Uh, Give me a blonde wig. <laughs> All right. One of you roll a deception check with advantage because one of you is like helping the other one. Whoever wants I'm to. I'm gonna do start it. eating, gnawing at the table. All right, uh, oh, Manix, oh, Manix, you roll deception with advantage because yeah. Okay. You're not actually doing the talking, but Theron is helping you with his performance. Nineteen. All right. Um, they seem to accept what you're bullshitting <laughs> and say, uh, "Okay, uh, I think we've got you squared away." And they they go ahead and fit the saddle on him and everything. Um, and say, uh, "Well, uh, good luck in the race, and we hope this uh, brings great wealth and fortune to the Pinecone family." I hope so. So I can't cast that, but I'm going to lay out the nastiest fart <laughs> as I leave. <laughs> Just as an, a good measure. In case they're oh sure. That's, oh my God. that's greatness. Uh, yes, you absolutely I don't know why do I that. that but whatever. All right. If I could cast that, it would be, <laughs> it would be terrible. But this is a natural druid craft. Excellent. Okay. Um, you guys, uh, so both of your dinosaurs are saddled up. And at this point, the, uh, and that kind of takes some time to get to go through that whole process. 10 to 1 odds, 10 to 1 odds. Yeah, so now the odds start getting oh, yeah. uh, start getting put out there. Um, let's see, what was your, your pine cone? Mm-hmm. Pine cone <laughs> of the Fern Gully clan. Why are you making this sexual every single time? <laughs> <laughs> so where is that? Is there at? any other play between you two? All right, so the the final the final Pine odds. Bristle beard, <laughs> half dwarf, half. Dwarf. <laughs> uh, the final odds. So I mentioned Bone Cruncher is at one to four odds. Scarback one to two odds. Uh, Deadly Treasure is even. Zongo. All right, next is Kales, uh, Pr uh, Princess Consuela, Banana Hammock at two to one odds. Then Zongo at four to one odds. Then Pinecone at six to one odds. All right. What, yeah. what did Princess get? Two. Uh, two, to one. two to one. Oh, two. Oh, okay. Wow. She had good teeth. Yeah. I paid so. that guy a lot of money to take care of my dinosaur the last two days. Hey, yeah. did they check out my haunches at all? <laughs> <laughs> the haunches. So meaty. <laughs> Spent a lot of time on these haunches. All right, you guys are allowed to bet at this point before the race begins. Uh, the official betting is with the uh, bookie slash innkeeper at the Thundering Lizard. Um, and all of your bets are protected and uh, guaranteed in terms of, you know, nobody's going to shift you anything. But 10% of the profit of any winning bet goes to uh, the house, essentially. Goes to the mm. Merchant Prince Ethan for uh, ostensibly fees for running everything. Cost me to put on an event. Mm -hmm. Generally. Okay. Um. So, are there different? So, how how is the betting work? Are there different <laughs> bets to win or to place, or is it the same? We're just betting on one dinosaur, and however well it does, that's how that's what our payout is. Can we write down the bet and not let the DM know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, that's not gonna work. Unless you put Scout's it in, honor. Unless you put it in an index card and mail it to me or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it in front of the camera. Write it down. It, yeah. Yeah. Sent it to me last week. Um, hey, I got zombies last time, and I had that written down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's show me zombies. Go, go check your mailbox right now. Yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> go check it. 
I mailed this two weeks ago. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. It's a six to one odds. <laughs> um, so when you make a bet, you bet on just one dinosaur, but if you okay. bet to win, you're betting on them getting first. If you're betting to place, you're betting on them getting first or second. And if you bet to show, you're betting on them getting first, second, or third. Now, if you bet to win, you get whatever that odds payout I just gave you. If you do uh, to place, then you get that payout divided by two. And if you bet to show, then you get that payout divided by three. Because you're just the odds of you getting the you know, other ones are that much easier. So just for the sake of my sanity, I, I made it hopefully as simple as I could. And obviously the way odds work, so like Bone Cruncher 1 to 4 odds means, uh, you know, for every 4 gold you would win 1 uh, that you would bet in profit. And then for, at the bottom of the end, Pinecone, 6 to 1 odds means if you bet 1 gold, you would get 6 gold back profit if you win. And these are all, minimum bet is, uh, it, all the bet is in gold, for also sanity's sake. <laughs> right. How, co how confident are we? <laughs> I'm going to bet 0.75 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters of Minimum gold. Minimum one gold, please. Uh, I don't know. I'm just... Whatever. I'm just going to go for broke. I'm Me pitching. too. I, I, feel, I feel like I'm going to... I'm going gonna to split it up between us a little bit. I'm going to bet... Uh, <clears throat> I've got 62 gold, so I'm going to bet... 40 on Pinecone to win... I'm gonna lose all the money. Me, let me, yeah, let me write these things down. And I'm gonna bet twenty on Princess to show. Is that a, that, that, that the first and second one? Or place? Place was place. first. Or second. Place yeah. was first or second, yeah. All right, I'm confident. I, I believe we can do this. I'm putting all my money on it. So Wait, can't we bet. discuss this, or? Yeah, you, you're gonna discuss this all. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, wait, wait. Right. So, Manix bet. Sorry, let me catch up. Manix bet on Pinecone to win for forty gold down on Pinecone to win. Yep. And then you're putting uh, how much down on twenty? Twenty okay. on Princess to place. Okay. Uh, fifty on Pinecone to win. All right, there. And please go ahead and dock all this money from you guys, because this is oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do uh I'll do uh fifteen on pinecone to place. And then I'll do ten on me to show. I only have a plus one in animal handling. Yeah. <laughs> I have the best animal handling. <laughs> I can handle myself. Uh, I'm going to put 50 on Pinecone to win. Max whispers, Max whispers in Perrin's ear, if you don't win this, I swear to God. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure, though. <laughs> I don't know if I can perform. <laughs> you better just run right out those gates into the jungle, son. <laughs> Where my money? Where my money, Theron? <laughs> We're selling your ass to the circus. <laughs> no, the glue factory. <laughs> you'll make it there. Cert's betting 100 GP. Good for it. Oh right. boy. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna say that Gillian is the one that's gonna hang on to her money, even though I don't think she would, but uh at least one of you needs to survive this financially, just in case. I'm I'm doing just fine, thank you. That's true, you didn't put down near as much there's, as everybody else. <laughs> there's no way I can lose. <laughs> He's a dinosaur with the brain of a dwarf. <laughs> This what does give me instant advantages, right? I've been a dinosaur for at least ten minutes. I know how this works. <laughs> oh, you meant that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Best. I, you know, I can't possibly see how this would go wrong at all. Max is going I to dare have... the DM to make me lose. 
Oh God! Oh, no. I need that money. <laughs> How confident are you now, Mannix? Mannix, my Mannix idly fiddles with bags of ball bearings in his vest pocket. That's how confident he is. <laughs> Wait, the race is today. Yeah. I think the dinosaurs are taking naps right now. I have that statue. <laughs> nightmare statue. My dinosaur had terrible dreams. He can't race. Why I hold on to it, I don't know. Yeah, you just met that dwarf. You should have given it back to him. <laughs> Didn't come it up. was a gift. <laughs> that would be gift. rude. That would be rude. Theron would never do something rude. <clears throat> all right, you all, those of you that are racing, can uh, approach this area, which is where the starting line is going to be, as you've been instructed, near the gates uh, right here. With this, hold on, are we are we skipping the meeting we we're supposed to have? What meeting? I thought we were doing, doing it after. Oh, we're doing it after? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. okay. At this point, you guys have, yeah, you're all saddled up and everything's happening. If you want to, okay. yeah, we'll, we'll go and do the race. Okay. Is um, is there a place Theron can throw up from nerves? <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur is just behind a bar and just peeking his guts All the dinosaurs look so great. He's just like, you see a lot of people change their hands you with watch, money real fast. You watch this dinosaur just like wipe his brow. <laughs> like, oh god! He's staring into a mirror. Is that dinosaur okay? I don't know. Your, uh, your dinosaurs look so good there. <laughs> You all uh, that are racing line up on the thick rope stretched across the street. Uh, let's say Gillian is kind of working the crowd, doing her music, maybe cheering you guys on. George, what are you going to be doing uh, initially, at least, while um, the others are in the race currently? Can I have some multiple choices, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to look around and evaluate my options. Um, I, there's... The, the, Who can I steal from? The town is just kind of turned out. There is, um, lines of people. It's it kind of looks like a, like a golf tournament in terms of the people forming, like, a natural side. Go ahead. Tiger! 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 <laughs> it's a lot louder, obviously, than a golf tournament. I'm gonna do the thing, like, on the New York streets where I'm a street performer trying to get money. <laughs> Alright, oh what exactly are you doing? Showing off, bike bowls. showing off my martial arts skills. All right, doing some like cool shadow boxing stuff. Yeah, swinging my swords around, you know. <laughs> People lose arms. They want to <laughs> like spin around in your shell. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. What's roll? Are you comically cutting off tai people's tai tai limbs mm. as you do your spins? So you're not. So that's a you... performance. If you've ever heard one, right? Uh, it is, but it wouldn't be – if you're actually using your skills, I would say you could uh, use strength or dexterity. I would I would allow you to use performance if you were proficient in performance, which you're not. So just roll uh, either a strength or dexterity check as you uh, kind of perform a natural crowd. And like I said, the turtles aren't, like, you know, unheard of here, but people are like, oh, it's a turtle. Look at that, Mark. Don't <laughs> stare, Billy. <laughs> It'll steal your soul. Nineteen <laughs> fifties America is <laughs> transported to D and D. That's right. Um, Nineteen. All right. You 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 you've got a nice little crowd around you. They're like, yeah, this is awesome. And they uh, they throw you coins uh, respectfully, not like you know at you, but kind of you know. Hey, turtle! <laughs> Dirty turtle! Take your <laughs> coins. Like, oh, that's Why so would cool. they do that? Show me. <laughs> Like, oh, do you, do you do classes here? Um, oh, yeah. Why, why would they call him a dirty turtle? And <laughs> <all> the <point? laughs> They're racist, but they also respect the arts. <laughs> they respect the arts. <laughs> you know it's how so racist are? It's so vaguely specific. <laughs> all right, oh, roll. Um, uh, They're racist, but respect the arts. Yep. Uh, George, roll me a uh, 
three d six. Roll well, George. <laughs> All right, you you earn thirteen gold just in that little span of time while there everybody's getting lined up for the race. He is I'll take it. Profit. <clears throat> um. So throngs of people have gathered along the sides um, behind these great big uh, rope barriers that um, kind of form these natural uh, lanes. The uh, starting race is going towards, uh, if you guys are here, uh, going through the gate uh, towards the right side. Um, on the hill overlooking the starting line is uh, a lot of the upper class members of the city. You wager some of them are probably merchant princes. Um, a thick woman adorned in simple clothing but carrying numerous weapons and trophies uh, stands up from a jeweled chair and the crowd just cheering intensifies ah! uh, and only dies down when she begins to speak with a booming voice. I can I offer grand champion of the arena and merchant prince of Port Nianzaru. Official will welcome you all to another glorious race day. And everybody cheers. Yay! That's right. <laughs> I love, I love race days. <laughs> <laughs> races, oh wait, those race days. Introduce yourselves <laughs> so that mind. we may know for whom we cheer for on this day. You see, a good-looking, athletic young man stands up in the saddle of a well-trained Allosaurus, uh, although young Allosaurus, and it is like, you know, it's pretty intimidating, but it is actually very stock still and looks like it is ready for business. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tyrik, son of Ekene Offa, four-time champion of the races, and I will make you all proud to cheer my name this day. Boo! And what's actually... Oh, are you saying boo or boo? <laughs> 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 He's going to roll this with... Advantage because he has a favorite. Oh, he rolled a 19. So there's going to be charisma checks this round. Oh, oh. no. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm Maddox. throwing up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Maddox was first at third and or I wasn't ready for this. I didn't know we'd have to introduce ourselves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, a turtle on an ankylosaurus uh, who is in this elaborate, like, uh, what's it called when they have those things like on the elephants where it's like a little covered. Like caravan, like this yeah, big structure, okay. yeah, uh, on Canopy. top of this ankylosaurus, which is that you know armored tank, spiky dinosaur. The uh, best dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, uh, he doesn't stand, but kind of offers a respectful wave, and he's kind of real eased back, and has like a long piece of grass, and got the like uh, the wide brimmed hat. This is a uh, name's Quilgok. I'm here to prove once again that not every turtle is as slow as you think, and that gets uh, some laughter and. Uh, cheers from the crowd. Derision. Dirty turtle! Here's some money. All right. Yeah. Not everyone is a dirty racist. They're honorable racists. Yeah. Wow, oh, people liked it, though. Like, yeah. Uh, the next... This. I'm, I may have to throw up over the side of the <laughs> next... for myself. The next racer is one you recognize as Gondolo, the halfling guide from the tavern with whom you, uh, with whom Gillian danced with, and you took the uh, map from. He's mm -hmm. trying hard to stay balanced on a Triceratops, despite the beast actually not moving all that much. He hiccups and slurs his words as he talks. My name is Gondolo. Hello, I'm not from around here, and I've never really done anything like this. But our, our racer backed out, and Farrell said I, I would have less wind resistance. And while I needed a bit of liquid, liquid courage, and Tej tastes awful good, the beast uh, shifts slightly, and Gondolo nearly topples over, and the crowd laughs and jeers. Did he take some meth also? Let's see. No, uh... <laughs> yeah, come. Takes a totally get disadvantaged when he's drunk. Oh my god. <laughs> But you know what? People loved his hilarious antics. <laughs> I rolled a net to But people are the most entertaining. Yep. Hey, no pressure, Chris, but. There's some high checks oh, here. <laughs> Atop the most fearsome beast, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, although a juvenile from what you can see, is a uh, muzzled and fidgeting. It is, like, just very aggressively. Like, the, most of the dinosaurs that you've seen have been fairly 
uh, look like they're disciplined. And this one looks like it is just like looking around and wide eyed and um, just fidgeting around constantly. It looks kind of uh, irritable. Uh, and as an older man with numerous scars on a bare chest, this guy looks fucking stacked. He goes, Tabun, arena fighter, killer of men, tamer of beast. I will rule the track like I rule the fighting pits. And a number of apparent uh, arena fans are hooting and hollering at that. Mm. I'm gonna try, that's right. <laughs> try to telepathically tell Mannix to throw some raw meat on the Allosaurus or something. Oh, people aren't buying <laughs> Don't this. Don't curry All right. Uh, which one of you will, wants will to... Will the Allosaurus eat these ball bearings? Which one of you would like to introduce yourselves first? Uh, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine, fun throws up again. Um, Just constant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, just because I don't want to draw more attention to myself than necessary, because I don't like attention. Uh, <laughs> no, and I'm riding in a dinosaur race. Go figure. Uh, you put I on guess... your black knight hat, helmet, and just salute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over the crowd. Basically, she just scream out only half of her name, not her whole name. Just scream out Cal with the with her hood fully drawn so nobody really knows if she's male or female, and then just bow, like, do a respectful head bow to uh, the, the woman who was speaking, and just take her place in line. Okay. Um, roll a charisma check. Okay. That's a plus zero. People yeah. don't like the fact that you didn't introduce yourself. The, the, <laughs> the crowd seems um, uncomfortably silent after just cheering a lot. It's pretty awkward. awkward. It's pretty awkward, yeah. Yeah, she, she really doesn't care. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Mannix, how would you like to introduce yourself? Yep. It makes them even more uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should just go out in the middle of the thing and just throw up. <laughs> sort of, he doesn't really wave, he just looks around the crowd, he goes, uh, my, my name's Mannix, this is Pinecoff, <laughs> <laughs> and we're alcoholics. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'm sure you saw <laughs> He talks for like ten oh, minutes. No. The crowd is <laughs> definitely silent. Somebody just like taps you on the shoulder. Yeah. He's just talking about how the guy's just been throwing up, and how it's not a bad sign. It's like, sign. Look, this this year has been really hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it I may look weird. <laughs> Money's really tight. My girlfriend left me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll. Roll a charisma check with disadvantage, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, where is it? There we go. Oh, wow. All right. Manic Nothing throws matters. Up, Manic throws up in his mouth a little bit. <laughs> as he finishes talking. And, oh. the, the, only, the only person who cheers is Gillian because she's in the crowd. That's right, right. yeah. Like, yay, go Manix! Everybody's like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so um, the way this is going to work is um, I may need to put some of your tokens on the board, actually. It's all intelligence checks. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Um, so I need to put Theron's... Let's see, Coles needs to go on the board, and then Theron's wild shape needs to go on the board. I'm trying to think who's going to do the rolling. I guess you guys can roll without. You just need to roll for your uh, uh, initiative. Or uh, sorry, roll for initiative. I'm just going to put everything at zero. That's how this is going to work. And I don't know if that's going to work without us. Oh no, it does work. Oh, it doesn't show up in the thing, so I don't have my token selected. I don't need. I just need. I'll do uh, Theron roll initiative. Just a roll. I don't know. Uh, okay. I did, you, okay. you guys are one entity, so I just need one for gotcha. both of you. So I need to roll. That's three. much better. Uh, roll it from the roll dinosaur it. sheet, though. Sorry. 
Oh. And yeah, Klaus, Wait, I need you to roll too. Yeah, yeah. I don't need the number, I just need to put you on the tracker. Well. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm not seeing you guys on the initiative tracker. I can't select the token. We, we don't have tokens to select. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. Uh, you want me to redo it? You don't see your tokens? I see my I, token now. Yeah, I can't select the dinosaur. Oh. Uh, it says you can be controlled. Ah, uh, where's the second time? I want my first one. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm putting them at zero anyway. Okay. I'm clicking on it down, so it's so hard. Alright, I'll, I'll just roll it. I think it'll... There we go, that works. Alright, everybody's starting at zero, because how this is going to work is the initiative is your speed. And the race takes place over several rounds, and every round you have a chance to increase your speed. So I finish getting all of our NPCs. Wait, why didn't that work? Everyone at zero, please. There we go. Actually, press enter. Alright, I think I'm going to order them in the order of the odds, which was, let's see if I'm blocking the, nope, I'm not, okay. Uh, let's see, this guy was first, and then, uh, what were my odds? Tabin was next. Then Quogok. I'll be right back. And Kles, and Gondolo, and the Theron dinosaur. <clears throat> yeah, we might actually end up taking a break here in a second. Uh, before, yeah, if we're going to do it before yeah, the race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure I've got spot. everything set up. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go. <clears throat> so Tears first, then Taban. Quill, and Kles, and then the combo, one, two, three, no, I skipped somebody, Tyr, Taban, Quill, Kles, oh, Gondolo. Alright. So yeah, the way this dinosaur is going to uh, uh, race work, as you guys have pulled up to the line now, um, is... In stages, you are going to run around the entire city in a track. And each stage, you are basically going to roll something, depending on what's going on. Usually, it's probably going to be animal handling. Uh, and if you make it, you will move, and your DC depends on the dinosaur. And if you make it, that will determine uh, if you move that dinosaur speed that round. And that speed will be added to your uh, initiative tracker. Uh, and so the initiative tracker will be the total accumulation of your speed over all these stages. And that is how we're going to determine uh, by the time we get to the 10th stage, and then it'll be those speed numbers uh, will be how we determine the standings. Okay. And okay. Get it. Sorry, how do we increase the speed? Uh, it'll depend on what's happening that stage. So the, the race okay. will play out over several stages. Um. And what the initial Charisma Checks does is that was going to add a bonus speed to start with uh, oh, no. for, the, for the top three Charisma rollers, which was... Unfortunately, I rolled them all as one. This guy rolled Not us. advantage. Not us. Who rolled that... God, I had a 20, 20... The Triceratops rolled 
the nat 20. Yeah, he was a nat 20, so he was, he'll get the bonus to start, which is 15. <laughs> and then the uh, uh, first guy, the son of the, the leader chick, he got the 19. is the 19. And then the... Um, the Ankylosaurus, I think, was the other 20. Ah, okay. Let's put him. Thank you. So the Allosaurus, the Ankylosaurus, and the Triceratops. Yeah, I'm going to be careful about this because if I'm not switching my picture around, which I don't want to, I'm going to be rolling all these checks together and get real confused real quick. And so. Well, just type three, it. Type the. Five. Like the, the dinosaur first and then roll. That way you'll know who it goes to. All right, so that is what our starting numbers are going to look like. If you guys can Whoops. see on the initiative tracker. Yep, so the guys who basically Damn. perform really well in their charisma check. Um, who are the top two? The, to the tokens are really small on my screen, so I can't really see. Um, I, see a, I see the turtle above Gless. What are, are the top two tokens of? Yeah, um, the, one in the, uh, the top one is Tariq, who is the favorite. Um, okay. And, so in the oh, the initiative order is in uh, in the odds order. Um, so the top one is the favorite riding the Allosaurus, the young athlete. The second one is the gladiator, oh, who is um, uh, okay. riding the T Rex, uh, and then the turtle riding the Ankylosaurus, and then Kales riding the Hadrosaurus, uh, Gondolo riding the Triceratops, and then you two uh, with your uh, Vomitosaurus at the bottom. Gotcha. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep them, no matter what the initiative is, I'm just going to keep it in this order just so, and that'll be the order in which the events will uh, happen going forward. Okay. And uh, the race will begin at stage one. So the charisma check was basically the first half of stage one. Um, well, let's just kick things off with this one stage, then we'll start at stage two after the break. So stage one is everybody, the race is off. A, a, somebody shoots a shot into the air. Um, whatever Scary technology they have, probably <laughs> probably some kind of like a magic missile or something, you know. Uh, and you all take off. I need all of you who aren't dinosaurs and not riding a wild shaped dinosaur to roll animal handling. Uh, and Can I pretend to? Steal the <laughs> you're basically gonna be doing that the whole time, yeah. Uh, yeah. Aaron, I need you to roll athletics. What? Because you are running. <laughs> I will roll. Ooh, Kales, nice one. Mm hmm. So, Kales, you made your uh, DC, so you get to move 40 this round. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron throws up at the starting line. Aaron throws up at the starting line. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. You got there. You 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 yeah, have. I can't roll athletics with the header store. Oh yeah. Ooh, Tariq just, uh, just... fucks up pretty bad to, at the start. He is going nowhere. You do have inspiration, right? Nice. Yeah. You don't have to use right so now. Just... Everyone else is using their characters. That Correct. Have they are the, using their uh, people who. What's it? The bonus. What? What's, what's that question? The uh, character bonus you get when, as you level up. Uh, proficiency bonus. Proficiency bonus, yeah. Because the Hatter Sword doesn't have that. Oh. Uh, yeah. If you're not proficient in athletics, it's just the strength check. All right. Uh, unfortunately, my guys are failing. I've got Tariq failed. Tabin has a pretty high DC to control a T-Rex, so he is also going to fail. Uh, yeah, I'll use my inspiration. Okay. Because why not? <laughs> yeah. Quilgok. That's better. It's uh, better. Now we can't use it again for the other. <laughs> okay, uh, 14 is uh, enough. So you all move 40. You surge ahead with uh, Kales and Princess Consuela. Um, the two big ones actually um, fucking are slow out of the gate. Um, 
Quilgok does make it, but the Ankylosaurus is not as fast, although he's already got a 10, so he is up to uh, 40 as well. And then how does our buddy Gondolo do? Start chunking those ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Gondolo, unfortunately, uh, actually performs his best, but a Triceratops is a little bit trickier to control. And he is not able to move that first round. So that gets us to stage one, which is represented by this line here. And now you all are entering stage two, which is represented by that line there. Put you all. This is fun. About right here <laughs> as you careen around the corner and see the bridge up ahead. But let us take a break right now. We will continue our race shenanigans. When we I didn't back. mean it sarcastically. <laughs>
back from our break. Mayhap. I'm George here. Is, George can hear us, alright. <laughs> the ghost, Raymond. He's out there. Alrighty, uh, we have passed the starting line. And um, so with the speeds, you know, everybody's kind of moving with each other. It's just some of you are just accruing more, you know, speed points, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as you round Momentum. the corner, yeah, we'll call it that, uh, into stage two, which uh, has you all racing under the bridge to Soon. This is the Temple of Soon up here, uh, just on its own little outcropping island. There's a big fancy bridge leading to it from that hill. And you guys are racing um, o over that, uh, towards that bridge, and you are racing underneath it. And uh, as you come upon it, uh, and, of course, the bridge is just filled with, you know, cheering fans and onlookers and everybody. Um, you know, there's people everywhere. Uh, but there's a bunch of kind of mischievous uh, young people running back and forth that appear to be dropping bottles and other random objects uh, onto the racetrack. They stole my idea! So uh, I need all of you to first roll your animal handling slash athletics for uh, Theron. Uh, Can I help? Like, you, spot stuff and, like, guide him? Yeah, that, that's going to come into play in a second. We're going to animal handling okay. first, and then is going to come the, the other check. <laughs> All right, Kales, you've got that one. Um, uh, Mannix, I will let you use your action to help Theron, which will let Theron roll again. But it also means you won't be able to help him for the next roll. Okay, I'll, right. I'll do that. Whatever. Yeah, I'll try to like. <laughs> All right, we're trying. We're trying so hard. Yep, Theron's still working on being a dinosaur. Kales, uh, you make your roll. I need you to now choose either acrobatics, athletics, perception, or an additional animal handling check to avoid the falling debris as you race underneath mm. it. Um, that would be acrobatics, hands down. Okay. You can, uh, will your dinosaur with the acrobatics. Alright, it was not a very difficult check, so you were able to pull it off, and you can go your full speed this round, which is 40, so you're up to 80. Sweet. Um, let's see, Tariq, animal handling... Uh, he is going to fail. Jeez. Uh, Taban. Oops, that's the wrong person. Animal handling. Uh, is going to succeed that time, and he is going to use athletics <coughs> to guide his beast, and oh, he boy. is able to get that T-Rex going. And... That T-Rex moves at a speed of 50. Wow. Our Tortle, Friday and Kalosaurus. Uh, fortunately, he's going to fuck that one up. And our poor drunk halfling <laughs> is going to fuck his up as well. Everybody's... Stalled quite a bit. Kales is able to surge ahead that round. Um, let me update our totals. We've got which one's Taren? Taren? Uh, the, the bottom dinosaur. One. Yeah, bottom one. The forty. Yep. Okay. All right. Can I tell? Can I tell if those people are part of the race or they're trying to sabotage the race? Um. Uh, so you're kind of, like, following the racers as best you can? Mm hmm It looks like they are just jackass teenagers. Just messing around, throwing shit onto the track. You can see, like, at one point you, like, wait around and you can see, like, a guard, like, chase after him and kind of shoo him off. Guard won't do anything. <laughs> I will take this justice in my own hands. <laughs> oh, God. You hunt down the local teenagers. <laughs> Chop off a hand. <laughs> Alright, stage three uh, begins in this section 
as you all uh, head towards, you go all the way around through the um, various uh, homes located on the edge here and tool around to the western side of the city into the jewel market. Now, normally this area is heavily guarded by private security, but everyone is currently watching the race, and you notice as you all are racing along, some of the stalls might not have been quite as uh, cleaned up as you think. Uh, so in this case, if you all, if anybody succeeds at animal handling, you may be able to grab some jewels. So please roll uh, the animal handling checks this round, or uh, athletics for our shaped druid. Doesn't seem right. He's exceptionally bad at those rolls, too. He's not getting any... Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, out of seven rolls, rolled over ten once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not RTC, but these are bad rolls. Uh, yeah, Klaus, you can use inspiration. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, ten is not quite going to be good enough to handle the dinosaur that you've got. Uh, I think I could run faster as a dwarf. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe. Um, fifteen is that what I said? No. All right, he still can't get going. Gee, that's a hard DC on that one. That's the Who's favorite that? too. All right, the oh. tavern slows down. Let's see, our Quilgok, our Ankylosaurus buddy. Uh, he does make it. He's not going to swipe any jewels, so he's just going to go his 30. So it puts him at 70. And our drunk halfling is going to make it that time. And he's not going to try to swipe jewels either, so he's going to go his uh, 50, I believe, that Triceratops goes. He would totally try to swipe jewels. They need the money. <laughs> he's drunk. So he's at 65. All right, that's stage three. Update these now. I can't believe my favorite's not going at all. This is <laughs> kind of terrible. 70, 80, 65, and 40. All right, stage four begins in the uh, back end of the... Uh, Golden Throne staging area, as this area looks like it is heavily under construction. Uh, I guess I already can see all that. I guess Does the green line already go past there? I guess it does. It does. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the stage you are. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I guess you can just follow. Okay. Well, stage uh, four well, is is the event is here at the just giant area that you're not sure if it's been destroyed or it's currently under construction or what's going on here, but it is uh, definitely a dangerous area that is unfortunately very close to the track, and uh, apparently the construction folk did not quite clean up their area. So uh, everybody can make uh, either uh, animal handling or a uh, uh, or athletic, obviously, or a uh, dexterity uh, check to uh, avoid Man, I would pass to work. all the stuff. <laughs> Since I didn't help him in the jewel mark, help him again now to avoid. Yeah, you can always um, use. Wow. Can I use acrobatics? I can do what? Uh, yes, Klaus. Turn back into a dwarf right now. Theron, <laughs> or, uh, Mannix, you can always spend an action to help, in, as which essentially gives um, Theron advantage on the roll. All right, I will attempt to guide Theron amongst the rubble. Try it again, Theron. That's better. There you go. All right. So, Theron, you get to make it your speed, which is uh, 40. So you're up to 80. Uh, Kales, you did not get it that round. Uh, let's see. I'm probably just going to have everybody do animal handling on my end. Uh, Tariq's 15 is not good enough. Robin does make it though. Oh boy! Ugh. And he goes another the turtle fifty. No, that's the T Rex, the gladiator and the T Rex, uh, up to a hundred. Jesus Christ! Mm -hmm. Okay. He's got a hard DC to make, but he keeps rolling really high. Hmm. 
Tortle slows down. And actually you can use Dex this time. Nope. He's not moving at all. Alright, so stage four. <laughs> the favorite is just shit in the bed right now, <laughs> really now. He's not having a good day. Seventy otherwise it's actually kinda neck and neck with everybody. Oops. What did I do? Seventy, eighty, Kales is Whoops. I messed up my order. Hmm? I had K. Tabin was next. I'm trying to keep this in case I mess up numbers anytime I can go back and see what I did. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, Tariq, Tabin. Quilgok. Less Gondolo and Manix Theron. All right, keep those totals and paste that for the rest of these rounds. Okay. This was stage four. Which has Tariq at five, Tabin at a hundred, Quilgok at seventy, Kales at eighty, Gondolos at sixty-five, and the Theron Dino is at eighty. Yeah, pretty <coughs> close except for my favorite is lagging behind. Alright, <laughs> stage five, as you guys can tell, enters the Grand Souk. The track leads into the covered tents. Uh, this area has been emptied in preparation for the maze, but the dozens of merchant stands and wagons. Uh, form a maze. So for this stage, uh, instead of your animal handling, you will need to make either a perception or investigation check. And Mannix, if you want, you can choose to just help guide Theron uh, if you'd like to make this roll instead. My passive perception is 17. Jesus. Really? Yes. What is your bonus to perception? Plus two. Oh, okay, I'll still roll my investigation. <laughs> That's good for passive perception, though. That's... It's crazy, yeah. <laughs> Tariq still fails. <laughs> All right, uh, Kales, you... Uh, what was the DC on this? Oh, okay. It was a pretty easy DC. So, yeah, you make it. Um, oh, oh, my God. Yep, so you move your... Uh, Oh, I did say all, if you make it, your dinosaur moves half speed if successful. So you'll move uh, 20, so you're at 100. Uh, Tariq just straight failed. Mannix, you guys made it. And so you move 20, so you're at 100. And Tobin has a pretty good perception. Yeah, he does. Wow. Jesus. This guy should have been the favorite. Plus five. Yeah. yeah. He's at 125. We just gotta get ahead of him, then I can start throwing cow trips and ball bearings everywhere. Turtle is going to make it at half speed, which is 15, so he's at 85. And our halfling buddy also has good perception is going to also make it at half speed, which is 25. Which is 90, I think. 65 yep. plus 25s. All right. Still pretty close, <laughs> except for at this point, the favorite is just not going to do it. He's, he's just fucking cursing back there, like, ah, oh, what is going on? <laughs> His dinosaur threw a, like a shoe or something. He's in a single <laughs> successful roll. It's crazy. He's still waving at the crowd. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like. Yeah, he's the Casey at the bat, just like jackassing it up. All right. 125. Cool gox. All right, the next stage, you all make it through the Grand... Oops, forgot to grab your token. Make it through the Grand Souk and emerge into the sunlight and the cheering crowds. Hey! And you come racing past the... You're in the Thundering Lizard. Uh, mm. 
and there's groups of Schultons um, with merchandise selling things. Um, there is appears to be a bunch of people wearing like some kind of uh, drink brand, and they're holding out what appear to be free glasses of uh, beer for racers to grab uh, as they race by. So first, I'm gonna need animal handling uh, slash Theron's roll. <laughs> <laughs> Which, as I said, uh, Manix, you can always hey. spend your. Oh, there you go. That'll do it. I well, you're, you're. I believe you said I can only do it every other. Uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, like a lot, a lot of these require two checks. So if you want to use it to help him, then you wouldn't be able to help him with like the second check. Ah, I see. Um, but Theron does. Well, I, yeah. Make it here, so Manix, you can grab uh, the beer. Uh. If you if you want, sure. this is you know it's they're yeah, just holding out I, liquid, I mean, but it, it looks like it is like sponsored or something. They're holding out liquid. <laughs> they're holding out liquid. <laughs> Grab it. Maddox so thinks he just needs it to calm his nerves at this point. He's not. He, he put a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> Pour it into the. Unless mouth. you make it one forty. Uh, um. So Maddox, you need if you uh, when you grab it, you can swig it. It's a Constitution check. To essentially okay. swig beer while you're racing. Sure. Okay. I'm not a constitution. Unless it's second not grabbing the beer. Yep. Okay. Hey, look at that. All right. You feel empowered, uh, Manix, which I will. We could extend this to Theron as well. If, if I would let you decide if you wanted to give it to him, but you gain the effects of the guidance spell, which is you can add a D4 to any ability check for the duration of this race. Hmm. So you'll have to we'll take it as my like my expert. I like I get more confident with the reins. Yes. I start whipping there. <laughs> you whip it. Turn, turn this way. Turn that way. I know what I'm doing. Excellent. Wow, the favorite is just shitting the bed. He's got a plus five. He's got Theron rolls over here. It's awful. Notice that none of us bet on him, by the way. Yeah, good thing you didn't. Um, Tavon doesn't get it either. Everybody's slowing down this round. Uh, the druid, uh, the portal does, however, but he's only moving 30. What's 85 plus 30? 115? Mm-hmm. What? Yes. Yes. Alright, and Gondolo. Actually makes his, so he suddenly surges ahead to 140. Oh my... Okay. Look at that! Look at this! We're so close! Fucking... Do we, we all have, like, lock eyes and we recognize each other? Yeah. Hello, Gondolo. Hey, guys! <laughs> Where's that pretty Triton lady? I like She's dancing with her. Back there. You should go say hi. Just waiting for you. Okay. Uh, you guys race through the in section. So at this point, I'm also keeping an eye out for if we pass through an area that doesn't have a lot of onlookers. Like, an, <laughs> like, 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 an, like if we make a turn, it's like, like kind of a dead part of town. Where there's not a lot of cheering people or whatever. Okay. Where I think I can get away with dropping caltrips without people in the sides noticing. Okay. So far it's been pretty busy, um, but I will let you okay. know. Um, you pass through okay. the market ward here, which is pretty busy with people. Um, and, can and, I try to like slam the triceratops between the two of us so we can like nudge him out? Like nudge him out. Run, run him off like the road. The racing maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yes, it would require a pretty challenging animal handling check to be able to do that. And it would take up your uh, action instead of being able to ra basically race ahead. And, it, and if, if you're working in conjunction with Mannix and Theron, that, that works for both of y'all. You'll always be spending your turn basically trying to uh, make sure Gondolo gets not only can't move, mm -hmm. but gets further behind. I don't think we're far enough ahead to waste nah, speed. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um... You guys cross over into the merchant section, and uh, a lot of stalls are still open and everything. Apparently, um, either somebody left some meat out, or there's something has attracted a lot of insects in the area. And uh, a swarm of just these biting insects, like a cloud of insects, kind of has descended upon the area, and you guys have to race 
through that. So I am actually going to uh, oh my be God. rolling attack rolls on you uh, all, and if it hits, uh, that's going to give you disadvantage on this. Uh... So the plague started affecting the race. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just do you guys first. Let's do Coles first. Why? Just three of us are tied. That works. All right, Six. that's probably not going to hit you. Nope. Uh, are they attacking the riders or the or the dinosaurs? Um, it's going to be the <laughs> so they'll attack the rider, which I don't think is going to fuck up uh Theron at all. So ah, they go after the okay. riders. Yeah. So this is Manix. Whoa! 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 Oh, there it goes. 18. So, it does fuck Manix up. So, Manix, you won't basically be able to use your help action at Theron. Helping? Yeah. Yeah, but Theron, it does not give you disadvantage because the insects did not actually attack you here. You have independent thought. Independent thought. <laughs> For now. For now. I can just do the up arrow on each one. Yeah, is that... Do I have direct damage from these insects? Or am I just... No, we won't have damage. Out of my face. No. Okay. All right, that's not going to hit... Uh, Jesus, that will hit the Taba, and he's going to have disadvantage. That will hit the Tortle, he'll have disadvantage. And that is going to hit Gondolo, he'll have disadvantage. Everybody but my favorite guy will have disadvantage. Mm. On this animal handling check. God, he still fucks it up, even without disadvantage. That's insane. Jesus, it's... He has a plus five. He's, so he's a never plus rolled. Five, he's up. never rolled what he needs to roll. Now, granted, he had a tricky oh. roll, but still, with a plus five, I don't have to re-roll that. He's not gonna fail anyway. Uh, let's see. You've got to roll. Uh, he's gonna fail anyway. I guess the real one is Gondolo here. All right, they all fail. Um, <laughs> have you guys? You guys haven't actually rolled your animal handling yet, have you? No. Okay, yeah, go ahead and no. roll that. Or, yeah, your <laughs> athletics. Oh. Yep. Uh, you guys you both make it. Surge ahead by 40, <clears throat> so you jump ahead to 180 each. Now's the time. For good shit, it's gonna be now. If you help us win, I can pay you out. <laughs> 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 You didn't bet that much. Okay, yeah, you guys feel like you are, uh, you know, generally the race makes a not quite, a, there was no ending at that place you started, so you're not quite sure. Or you were told that it basically ends at the arena, which is this um, uh, building right here in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna like curve around this yes. insula here. Okay. Yep. If you have to stab her dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, I, t I turn to Cliss and say like, like we bet a lot of money on us winning. <laughs> 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 just, just FYI, and I'll give you some of my place money that I put on your dinosaur. Look, can I say yes? We did, and then stab Theron. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. Let's not turn on each other. <laughs> so, suddenly, I told you you were getting all the money that you would have won anyway. <laughs> yeah, we can cover your bet. It makes no sense. And then some if we win. <laughs> we have like a hundred gold <laughs> on six to one odds right now. We're we're in good shape as long as we win. <laughs> as a group, as a whole. <laughs> Oh, now it's all about us, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> these are rules that should have been established yeah. early on, I feel like. I'm going to buck you off. <laughs> <laughs> this is why people have lawyers that draw these things up. Yep. All right, in the next stage, you... Buck off, Mannix. <laughs> a small... Uh, you, you pass what looked like a, uh, a large uh, dye works. So there's the actual... Even the water near here is all painted different brilliant colors. People are making um, various uh, colored inks. Uh, and fabrics here, and a small crowd of brightly painted people are dancing in the middle of the racing track, seemingly oblivious to everything around them. Um, they appear to be just... Hippies, crush them! Yes, they appear to be high as hell. 
and no amount of um, from the nearby crowd are kind of like shouting about them getting out of the way, and you guys are coming upon them. So instead of animal handling this round, please make either an athletics, acrobatics, or intimidation check as you attempt to either shove past them, narrowly avoid them, or yell at them to get out of the way. Uh, in this case, if you wanted to, Manix would obviously be the one making the intimidation check, but Theron would be the one making the physical checks. Um, whichever one, uh, you, you, I'm not good at intimidation, Theron, so you do your whatever check you want to do. And I'll, okay. This I will, straight plus two. All right, well, we can still, we still got the guidance, so I'll be helping you with it as, right. you know. All right. Well, there you go. Nice. <laughs> All right, you guys both I it. trample them to death. <laughs> That's yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I. Is uh, not supposed to do that? If you make your check this round, you're everybody's still moving at half speed because of all the, the stuff in the way. So you guys. As get, you step on hippies. You step on hippies. <laughs> just go half speed. And, and then pause. Step on them some more. <laughs> Can this guy? Hey, he made a roll finally, but he goes to half speed, wow. which for him is thirty. So he's got all of thirty-five. Uh, this guy is gonna be using athletics. Nope, that's not good enough. This was a harder mm. check. Wow. Uh, the hippies were actually trying to get run over. So many died. <laughs> Why would you do this? Everybody's failing and falling behind. Uh, Gondola will try to use acrobatics. Also not quite good enough. All right. You two just continue to pull ahead at this point. Um, as you make it around the die works. I can't believe my favorite just now got his first successful check. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of sad people that bet on him, basically. <laughs> yep, a city full of sad betters, gamblers. Saddest city of all. All right, um, you guys pass through the bathhouse area. Around the corner is a lot of uh, people uh, hanging out in the bathhouse because the windows are all oh, you know yeah. they can see outside. Yeah, they're having a good time in there. <laughs> and you guys make it all the way around to the fish market. And the aroma of the fish market hits you well before you see it, and you see that it definitely has a distracting effect on the dinosaurs. Except uh -huh, I can't throw up anymore. Ex <laughs> except for the one that's not really a dinosaur. So oh. for everybody who has a dinosaur, your DC for your animal handling check has increased quite a bit, except for Theron because he is not a real dinosaur. Theron's a with with the anti pescatarian unless he really likes fish. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't eat fish. He eats so everything it's, else. But so it's still, it's still normal animal handling slash athletics checks for uh, Theron. Oh, man. Is there a name for that? I don't know. Like, just, I don't eat gotta, fish. Uh, There's got to be. Not going to do it. Not going to do it because it's even harder for him to control his T-Rex. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck was his... See, it's pretty big. He's hit it quite a few times, but it's yeah. it's been high now. It's even higher with that. Uh, I have to check the stats on that. 19. His is a oh, yeah, his is he's good to go. Um, so he moves the full 30, so he's at 145. going to fail. Um, Go ahead, Theron Bear. I don't think you've rolled yet. Yeah. Klaus, did you roll, or was that your one from before? No, that's my roll. Okay. You're not moving. Theron Dino. <laughs> Theron Dino. Boy, ever since we've gotten this guidance from the beer, you haven't... Yeah, Mannix has got the beer, beer. in him. Yeah, I'm just drinking and like... Oh. Hey, man. Yeah. You, too you don't have to tell me. <laughs> All right, at this point, you pass what looks like the least crowded area of the race, which is this kind of little harbor area up here. Uh, 
kind of on the other side of the fountain, and if you wanted to, you could kind of try to do something where you wouldn't be spotted. I'm going to try to, as stealthily as possible, Thank pull you. out two handfuls of caltrips <laughs> <laughs> and throw them on the path behind easy, me. Easy, easy. Yep. You should have thrown them into the hippie corpses. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no one would have found them. <laughs> okay, um... Do caltrips normally require you to roll something to throw them? No, nope, the caltrips are... I cover a five-foot square area, and when, when when creatures run over them, they have to make a DC 15 dex saving throw, or they stop moving. Okay. Um, are you trying to target anybody specifically? Uh, Glass is right behind us, but <laughs> she is the obvious choice. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to knock her out. How how close is the turtle to Kales? The turtle and Gondola are both like neck and neck, though. Yeah, Jesus. they're 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 behind, but. No, I'm not trying to target anyone specifically. I'm like a fight. Like I'm, I'm assuming the dinosaur is wide. So if I cover With a five foot throw, square in the I middle of the road, us. I will get the most bang for my buck. And whoever happens to run through the middle of the road, <laughs> call it us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yell out as I'm throwing them down. I'm like, <laughs> oh, is this filthy? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> nobody see this, Kales. Nobody <laughs> see this. <laughs> I got a head of the whole <laughs> Grab your socks! <laughs> I'm just gonna pass phrase. Don't come this way! No. The outer's a pass phrase that hasn't been practiced before ever. <laughs> exactly! The owl flies comes. west! The owl what? flies west! <laughs> what? what? Ah! <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, no, I mean, we're ahead of Gless. I mean, I, I hope she's fine. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get hit by it, but You're I'm just throwing him. I'm just still throwing him right in the middle of the road. Okay. We're right. in the lead. Well, that's the, the whole idea is to keep it that way. Caltrips don't work from behind. Caltrips don't work from behind. <laughs> the DC 15 deck saving throw or stop moving. Jeez. Uh, okay. Kales. Uh, if you would please roll a deck saving throw, but I will give you advantage if <laughs> Manix probably I'm called in, something in, out to give you a heads up. Some sort of like, this is the motion for throwing countdowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You're gonna want that advantage. Yeah. There you go. All right. You are able to, uh, y you see, you've got your eye on Mannix, like, the whole time. You're neck and neck with him, and you know he's, I've been, you, you kind of know how he operates. I've been, I've been talking about caltrips for, like, a day and a half. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's all I, I was about to ask, before he said that I got advantage, I was like, come on, I knew he was going to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there be some kind of plus for me. Yep, so you, you see him do that, and you're like, oh, you son of a bitch. And you just, like, steer your, like, your dinosaur around, like, right around, which means, uh, let's see, who's next? Um, I guess it would be Quilgok. He's going to have to roll the dex. And he is stopped, so he cannot advance uh, anymore for this uh, race, essentially. You stopped him in his tracks. You say you're throwing out two Caltrops or one? Uh, it takes an action to throw him, so just okay. one. Okay, okay. All right, so you stopped... Um, that racer completely for this next. Is that the gladiator or the? Uh, no, 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 it's the, that was the, the turtle. The turtle and the ankylosaurus. Yeah, he runs right okay. into it. Doesn't doesn't see that at all. Just and the the, the ankylosaurus hits and goes and just kind of like stumbles over and he almost falls out. Yes. Like, yeah, like you just like does the equivalent of like spinning out basically. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you guys, uh, the rest of you, enter the final leg of the race around the corner. Um, 
which has a natural blockade of wagons, signs, and people blocking the way west here. So you know that everybody kind of point signs point to going down these little stairs uh, right here, leading into the Colosseum. I need everyone to make a uh, either animal handling or an acrobatics or athletics check to steer your dinosaur around the tight corners of the steps or maneuver if you are a dinosaur. <laughs> Um, I would like to take, well, does my action count for this round or the last round? My cow trips. Um, I don't remember if it was where, I'll, where the... I'll, I'll let you do your, you can do yours this round. Okay. I will try to help Theron. Okay. Use your help action. There you go, Theron. All right. You guys both surge ahead. I used so many extra dice rolls. <laughs> Yeah, you did. You needed, you needed that. Yeah, you needed Manix helping you every, every step of the way. Single one of them. Uh, for sure. Um, and just for final stat purposes, let's see what the other guys do. Yeah, now he finally makes it. He goes 60 in one mm -hmm. round, by the way. Wow. But so it's like hard, fucking... to, hard to get. Yeah, but, yeah, it was like a DC 16. But, I mean, when I did my test run, he did really well. <laughs> he kept rolling like 15s. <laughs> like two or three times he rolled 15. I was like, oh, man. Wow. Uh, Tommen does make his, so his total is 175. Uh, the turtle can't move. And because he spun out. Gondolo fails and doesn't crashes Ooh. down the stairs. So, final standings. Let's see, 95, 175, 145, 240, 140, 280. So, you all enter the Coliseum to cheering crowds. Of course, the arena is completely full. Uh, Theron and uh, Ther the Shaped Theron uh, races in with Mannix, just hanging on for your dear life as you all crash in there first. Uh, Kales and Princess Consuela Banana Hammock is hot on your heels. And then following quite a bit behind you guys is the uh, the big, broad, bare-chested guy on the T-Rex. Uh, and then finally bringing up the rear is uh, Gondolo on the Triceratops and Quilgok on the Ankylosaurus and the favorite comes in just fucking like swearing and he just is a petulant asshole he just like climbs down and fucking just like saunters off he's all pissed everybody's cheering at you all for looks like we're having Allosaurus steaks tonight <laughs> <laughs> as for tradition the loser so, is sacrificed sacrificed upon the altar for the rest of you to consume uh and yeah, they shower you with the flowers, and you guys can take a victory lap around the arena. And we <laughs> <laughs> both just puke. just puking everywhere, yep. <laughs> just all over the crowd. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, what are our winnings? So, uh, technically, Mannix for winning the race because nobody knows that the, your dinosaur is really a person, you win oh, right. 50 gold pieces. Uh, All right. Can just write I'm this gonna, down before? Wait. Yeah. But I am going to put 40, because I'm taking 10 of that gold to cover my registration and costs. So I, I paid for that myself. So I'm taking 10, and the 40 will, will I'll spread I'll share oh, with everybody else. okay. Well... Did you not already pay for that? <laughs> Manix. I did pay for that. All right, so I'm adding things to the pot, I guess, right? So 40 GP. Yes, the, the, the group pot. Yeah, okay. yeah. So the 40 is where I'll share that with the group. Yeah, whoa, then, whoa, 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 whoa. And then, <laughs> Kales, for getting second place, you win, share. you win 20 gold pieces. Okay. Wait, when did we talk about a group pot? Yeah, <laughs> there was very little discussion about this. <laughs> I mean, I'm keeping my gambling winnings. This is the this is the the winning of the. Or I guess I I can take my registration cost out of my game. I'll share the fifty with everybody. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. All right, so I'll just write this down: fifty gold pieces for first place, twenty yep. gold pieces for second place. Uh, and now we can do your bets. Um, where did I put those? Oh, hang on. Yes. Hang on. So, 
the 70 gold pieces, if we're going to split it amongst the five of us, mm -hmm. we each got 14 gold pieces from just winning the race for yep. first and second place. Yes. Yes. And then the individual gambling. We Darren doesn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's just vomiting. I raced in this race. That's going to cover his medical bills alone, I think. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I have to do the. Darren, the character doesn't like this. <laughs> All right, so. You're about, you're about to make a lot of money, Darren. Don't yeah, me. Darren's about to make a lot of money. <laughs> you aren't. Wait, hold on. I, I gambled too. Well, you can keep whatever you bet. Yeah. Darren's keeping whatever he bet. Oh, yeah. Unless he's convinced otherwise. All right, so Pinecone won at six to one odds, which I think all of you hit on six to one odds, or most of you. Okay, so Mannix, you bet on Pinecone to win forty gold pieces. Yep. So you get in turn forty times six. Two hundred and forty. So Two hundred and forty gold, but ten percent of that goes to the house. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money when you. And you win big. It's Which 24, is 24 gold? 24 gold, so minus, so your total uh, is probably 216, plus you get your bet back. Um, oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. So 226. So, well, you bet 40, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I, brought, I bet 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you get... So 216 plus 40. 256. Okay. Jesus. Yep. You also... Paid off. You also bet 20 gold pieces on Princess Consuela to place, which uh -huh. she did, and her odds were 2 to 1, so you would get 40 gold, but because it's to place, it's half that, so you would get 20 gold profit, and 10% goes to Ethan, so you would get 18 gold, plus your original 20, so that's 38 gold. Okay. I God, will don't make me repeat it. any of this math. <laughs> nope, I'm just adding it up in my thing as you All say right. it. Theron. Yeah, is somebody adding this up? Because I'm not. What did I say? 256 GP plus 38. I got 294. Yes, that's correct. The rest of the session is just us like, counting money at this point. Doing math, yep. yep. All right, Theron, you bet 50 gold pieces on Pinecone to win, which you won. 50 times 6 is 300 gold. 10% of that is 30 gold. So that's 270 plus your original 50 is 320 gold. Jesus, fuck the adventure. You We're made go more retire. money than me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the big winner here, probably. Kales, you bet, you bet 15 on Pinecone to place, which he did. So you would get 15 times 6 uh, divided by 2 for placing. Uh, we'll round that to 2 gold for the 10%. That's 17 gold plus your original bet of 15 is 32 gold. Wait, what? Don't make me repeat this math. <laughs> well, you, you don't, I don't think you did the math right. Oh, no. All right, we'll start again. 15 gold to place, which you did, which is a times six, so you're at... Oh, you're right, I did the math wrong. 15 uh -huh. times six is 90. What did I do before? Oh, I plussed it. Ha! That was a lot less. <laughs> All right, 15 <laughs> times six is 90. Uh, divided by two is 45. 10% of that is five. Is, uh, yeah, five... So you're at 40 winnings, or no, or yeah, and then plus your original plus bet of 15. My original. So you're at 55 gold. Yeah. 50. yeah. 55 gold, so race that top one. Um, and then you bet 10 gold on you to show, which you did, and mm -hmm. your odds are 2 to 1, so it would be 10 times 2 of 20 divided by 3 to show is 6 gold. And we'll just round that to one. So you get five, uh, we'll call it five and a half gold, plus your 10% bet is 15 and a half gold. So you weren't doing half pieces. No, I, yeah. 
Uh, and George bet 50. So, oh, th I just did the 50 earlier, didn't I? So that's, um, that was where Theron's big payout was. Uh, 320? 320, yeah. So George got 320 gold. Boy, yeah. You guys yeah, fucking that's... cleaned house. Wow, yeah. you really didn't bet everything on that on that one circumstance <laughs> yes, of betting. <laughs> Holy crap. Nicely done. Yeah, so you guys are the champions of the race. Uh, Yay! No. Yeah. <laughs> and at this, uh, at this point, one of the, uh, somebody like walks up to you and says, uh, congratulations, uh, the merchant prince Wakanga Otumu would uh, very much be honored by your presence uh, at his villa. I, of course, I need to take this fine stallion back to the stables. <laughs> where, he, where, where he can change shape. He's like, no, I want to buy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's not for sale. That's an amazing I'm out, animal. I'm putting no. him out of his misery right now. <laughs> no, please. We must purchase it. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> one thousand. I'll, I'll sell you mine. One thousand gold. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah Kales, if you want, you can you can try to sell yours to some people that are uh, kind of in the heat of the moment, pretty excited about the race. Uh, you've got a few offers yeah. coming in. No, I want to buy the winner. Two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Theron, this is your job now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a racing dinosaur now. We've sold Goodbye. you. What kind of offers am I getting? Um, so, Kales, you would know that a Hadrosaurus, one that's tamed and ready to go, is normally um, worth 100 gold. And mm -hmm. for your Hadrosaurus's performance, you are being offered, um, the best offer that you hear is 150 gold. So, my good man. Okay. Uh, I made 110 gold profit on this thing. Nice. <laughs> yes. They offer to yeah. purchase that dinosaur from you for 150 gold. I will sell my dinosaur. All right. You guys are insanely flush with cash now. Just That's buy this idea. city. Yeah. There's a reason we've been looking forward to this race for so long. Dude, you're going to make just mountains of money. Yeah. Wait, how much gold do I get? 320. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All right, so do you guys want to go meet with Wakanga? Uh, we've got a little bit of time left on this session. Uh, sure, yeah. Okay. Go straight there. But we do have to, like, like lead uh, Pinecone to yes. a, a secluded to space where I can put him down. Yeah, <laughs> you make, like, shotgun We're... noises. <laughs> yeah. you, you did good, Pinecone! Pow! <laughs> the world can never know. High code's dead. Meet my friend Theron. <laughs>